Hi, welcome back. Today is lesson two. I hope that you have mastered all of the things in lesson one and you're ready to move on. So today we get to learn about the different note names, which is exciting because we're learning more and more. So um, if you'll notice on the top of your page, this is page 16, we are looking at the key, the keyboard here. And the notes in, in music are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So seven notes, and they repeat over and over and again, okay, just in a pattern. And the easiest way to find which notes are where is by looking at the black keys. And I'm going to teach you something that's not in the book right now, which is just a really easy way to learn these. So we're going to call these two different sets of keys, okay, the two black keys and the three black keys, different houses, okay? So the first house, this is your dog house, okay? And the second house, the bigger house, is your people house. So here's my dog house. Inside my dog house, I have the dog, which is D, okay? So here's my dog, okay? At the front of the dog house, you got a cat, okay? So cat's at the front, dog's inside, and in the back of your dog house, you have a large elephant, okay? So Cat, dog, elephant are all part of your dog house. Cat, dog, elephant. Okay. Now, in your people house, you have a front door, which is F. You have a back door, which is B. And inside your people house, you have grandma, G, eating an apple, A. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and practice that for just a second. Okay. I'm going to go through it one more time really quick. In your side of your dog house, you have your dog. At the front is a cat, and at the back is an elephant. So C, D, E. Okay. And here's your people house. You have the front door, the back door, grandma eating an apple. Okay. So F, G, A, B. Okay. So I'm going to test you for a second. I want you to play the dog house. Now play the people house. Okay. Now I want you to play the elephant, the cat, the dog, okay. grandma, back door, front door, Okay. I'm going to just use the note names. So play a F. Play a C. Play an E. B. A. D. G, F, C, okay? All right, so that's just a little bit of practice on that. Now, if you notice, um, I have a lot of sets of dog houses and people houses, and they're all the same, all the way up and down the piano. So starting from the bottom, this black key is kind of a spare on his own, <laughs> but he's the same as this black key. But we're gonna start here on the dog house and the people house, okay? Dog house, people house, and it's all the same. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay, so they, they're they asking you in your book, they say, play a name aloud the white keys from the lowest to the highest. So you're gonna come down here, and you're gonna start at the bottom, and we can figure this out, okay? Here's my C, B, A, okay, so this, Depending on the size of your keyboard or your piano, you may or may not have more or less keys. So find where your bottom is, I guess. But mine starts on A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, and I'm supposed to play it with my three finger. Sorry. So it says use the left hand finger three for the lower notes. So I'm just going to bounce up on my three. Once A, B, C, D, E, F, G. playing with my three finger. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All the way up to the very end. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C. Okay, so you can go
go ahead and do that on your own. All right, and when, once you're finished with that, okay, it says find an A in the middle of the keyboard. Look at the three black key group. The A key is between the two black keys, two and three. All right, so we kind of we kind of did that with our people house. So I'm gonna find my three black keys and I'm gonna find that apple, okay? Grandma is eating her apple, so here's my A, all right? Now, this is our starting point for this next little song. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where we're starting, okay? And you're gonna be playing with your three finger on your right hand um, this whole time. So we're not using our other fingers, we're just bouncing up the keys. Now, if you notice on your music, you do have two half notes. So just make sure those get two counts. So your counting is gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, hold, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so once you've got that, I'm gonna play the duet and it actually tells you to play and sing at the same time. <laughs> So I'm not the greatest singer, but I'm going to sing this while we play the duet just so you can hear how it goes. And then I'll play the duet again just um, with the music alone so that you can practice playing it just on your own. So here's how it will go. time and you can play it on your own. So one, two, ready, go. Now on this, at the very end of this song, you'll also notice that it has what's called a repeat sign. So we want to play this twice in a row using that repeat sign. A repeat sign is a double double bar line with the two dots, okay? And that just means play that whole section over again. So we're going to do it right this time. I'm going to play through the duet part twice, so you play through your part twice. One, two, ready, go. too crazy um, just up and down so we're gonna go back to the book here <clears throat> sorry my transitions are horrible all right so looking at this next page all it's telling you is to look at where C D and E are okay these are as you're beginning to play the piano these are pretty important little keys C D and E so it's just telling you that what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the middle of the piano you're gonna use your right hand your two, three, and four fingers, and you're just going to play simultaneously the C, D, and E, and you're going to find them in the middle of the piano, C, D, and E, and you're going to move up, and then you're going to move up again, you're going to move up again, okay, and then you're going to move down using your left hand, same thing, two, three, and four finger, two, three, and four, and you're gonna place them on C, D, and E. And you're gonna move down the piano. Okay, pretty easy. Oh, if I were to do this again, <laughs> which I'm not going to, but you can do this on, as you practice. I want you to play it one more time on your own and you play it soft with your right hand and loud with your left hand. Here we have our piano. And here we have our forte, okay? So do that on your own before moving on to the next page. Those last two pages you don't really need to spend too much time on as long as you make sure that you've got it and understand it. So we're gonna keep moving on. Um, to, for this page, we're talking about intervals. So in music, um, the intervals are the distance between two keys, including the first key and the last key. So if you look at their little thing here, 
between C and E, this is going to be called a third. They also call this a skip because you skip a note, okay? If I were to go to the next note, it would be called a step, but this is called a skip. So um, there's two ways to play them. You can break them up, play the C and then the E, or you can play them together. Those are both called thirds, okay? One is just uh, broken and one is blocked, okay? So down here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use our thumb and our third finger on C and E. Gonna go ahead and we're gonna play this little thing <laughs> practice thing it's not really even a song but we're gonna play it forte and we're gonna go up the the keyboard so we're gonna play it first um starting at middle c then we're gonna go up an octave it's called to the next c then up an octave to the next c then up an octave to the next c and play the same thing so our counting here would go one two three four hold that for three four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here we go. Let's go ahead and give it a try. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then they're going to have you repeat that using the two and the four finger instead of the one and the three. So just put your two and your four and do that same thing. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to start with your left hand and your left hand is going to do the same thing. You're going to start here with your three and your one. So one is going to be on E this time. Three is going to be on C and you're going to go lower. So I'm going to go down. Da, da, da. Okay. And then I'm going to start here again and I'm going to use my two and my four finger. to get to a real song, Mary Lee, We Roll Along. So your hand positioning for this, you're going to have your left hand with your thumb on E and your right hand with your one finger on C. So go ahead and position your hands. Your right hand is going to play first, this whole top, and then your left hand is going to come in second. So these are split right now. So right hand first, left hand second. So um, if you'll notice, we have our counting will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hold it for two. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay? All right, so I'm going to demonstrate this song, um, your part first, and then we'll get to do the duet. So starting here, I've got my three, two, one on the E. D, C with my right, and I've got my one, two, three on the E, D, C with my left. Okay, so I'm starting with my right. So. that a couple times on your own. I'm going to go ahead and play the duet for you and um, you can play it with me once you're ready. So one, two, ready, go. Once you've mastered that with the duet, then you can go ahead and move on to the next page. On this next page, we're going to be talking about the F, G, A, and B keys. Okay, so it says begin in the middle of the piano, playing softly piano, using the left hand fingers five, four, three, two, play all the F, G, A, B, C other, going down, then up the P keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to find with my two, three, four, and five fingers, I'm gonna find the B, A, G, F. Okay, I'm gonna right here. Back door, apple, grandma, front door. Okay, 
And I'm just gonna play those. supposed to play that softly. My bad. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing with your right hand going up the piano, playing loudly, playing forte. All right, then it says begin in the middle of the keyboard, use left hand fingers three and one, depress the damper pedal and play F and A, broken then blocked, going lower and lower down the keyboard, lower and lower down the keyboard, playing forte. Okay, so I'm using my three finger and my one finger on F and A. So it says first I play them broken and I'm gonna use my damper pedal, one on the right. So broken and then together. Three, one, together. Three, one, together. Okay, and then it says use your repeat and use your two and four fingers. Okay, so here we go. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing with my right hand. I'm gonna start with my one and three fingers on F and A, front door and apple. I'm gonna use my pedal and I'm gonna go up the scale this time first. And I'm gonna play loud again. And I'm gonna go back down. Do I go back down? So was I supposed to do that on the other one? <laughs> no, I think we can just go up. Okay. Then you're gonna repeat with your other hand. Sorry, I should really read it closer. Using your two and your four fingers is what you're repeating with. Okay. All right, this next page, you're actually, um, you're gonna play in a different spot, the same song, Merrily We Roll Along. Now when you move, um, the same song into a different spot on the keys, that's called transposing. You're going from one key to another key. So, um, and we'll talk about that more later, but here we have the first introduction to a measure, okay? So a measure is a group of beats and measures within the same piece usually have the same number of beats. Bar lines divide the music into measures, keep the rhythm flowing smoothly over the bar lines. So here's our example. Okay, here's our bar lines. They're separating these four beats. So one, two, three, four, bar line. One, one, two, three, four, bar line. Okay, those are our measures. So it's asking you how many measures are in Merrily We Roll Along and how many beats are in each measure. So looking down here, you can count the measures. Okay, there's eight measures and the beats in each measure Hopefully you got it. It's four beats a measure, okay? So it's saying to tap or clap the rhythm, and then you're gonna play in the middle of the piano, saying or singing the finger numbers, the letter names, and the counts, okay? So you can tap the rhythm. So it's one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and play it. And I'm going to let you do the different variations of how to play it. But here's, here's how we start it. I'll play one through. You're going to go ahead and put your fingers on the F, G, and A with the right hand and the F, G, and A with the left hand. Okay, so starting kind of in the middle of your piano. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I've got my... I'm going to play on these ones. F, G, A. Okay. And then same thing, three, two, one. So here's how it's going to sound.
to do is go ahead and say the finger numbers as you're playing the first time, then say the letter names, and then say the counts. So that's a little assignment for this lesson to go ahead and do that. And um, we can move on. So here we are now on page 22, and we're going to talk about seconds on this page. So us, the interval second is moving up or down just to the next key. So if you're on C, a second would be to D. Um, and seconds are what make up scales. So a scale is, in Latin, um, it means ladder. Scala means ladder. And so it's just moving up and down from key to key. So we're going to be working with the C scale here. And so your right hand is going to start on C and your left hand is going to start on G. And um, it goes like this. You're gonna have C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G, two, three, four. Then your left hand continues. G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C, and then repeat. So, and if you'll notice on this little song, you're gonna have the first time through, you're gonna play it loud, and then the second time through, you're gonna play it soft, okay? So this is something that you can work on this week every day, um, or for however long you work on this stuff from this lesson. Um, this is pretty simple, but it's a good warm up. It gets your figures to be exercised. So um, this next one is also kind of a warm up or a finger exercise, and it's talking about thirds or skips. And so a uh, third would be from you know, like from C to E, like we talked about in the last song. So if you look at your hand position, you're going to have your left hand starting on C and your right hand starting on C. Okay, your five finger on C in the left. Okay. Okay. And the same with your right, you're going to have your... Okay. So this song goes... One, two... songs. Now, it actually gives you um, a little bit of an extra additional practice. Here it says to transpose to a higher or lower C. So you can go up or you can go down and do the same thing over again. So um, this is the same thing. You can go up or down okay, to a different C scale. So you can go down lower on the keyboard or up higher on the keyboard and do that same thing for a little extra practice. So now we get into a fun song. So this is going to be the last part of lesson two. Um, we are going to learn O to Joy, and it uh, has a duet part, so we'll be doing that together all, as well. So um, up, at the up at the top, it's going to teach you a little bit about musical form. So in, uh, music is kind of like a poem. Poetry has different forms and different rhythms and things like that. And so music is the same thing. Um, they'll have different, different melodies um, in different orders and things like that. So it says the overall structure or plan of a piece is called musical form. In Ode to Joy, section A measures 1 through 4 can be labeled A. A1 measures 5 through 8 can be labeled A1. Um, section B is measures 9 through uh, 9 through 12, and section A1 happens again, and so the form is A, A1, B, A1. So it goes back to, uh, it repeats a certain section of the song, okay? So <clears throat> it gives you a little bit of instruction here to do some stuff, so you can do that kind of on your own. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this. So your right hand is going to start, and then your left hand will play. So these are not together. Um, until the end. Okay, so then the right hand plays and the left hand plays and then here they're going to play together. Okay, so I'm going to clip in <clears throat> so we can do this together. 
So both hands are starting on C's. So your pinky on C on your left and your thumb on C on the right, okay? So just follow your notes and let's give it a try. So I'm gonna say the note names first and then we'll do it one more time with counting, okay? E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, E, D, D, E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, D, C, C, D, D, E, C, D, F, E, C, D, F, E, D, C, D, G, then together. the timing on that. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to play the duet part um, and give it, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to count us off. One, two, ready, go. assignment is now to practice those things from these last few pages that we did this this lesson and um, our next lesson is going to be learning the notes on the staff so um, it should be pretty good <laughs> 